What's going on, gang? This is DJ Rocky with Atlanta Music DJ. I hope you don't mind my uh, house music in the background. Love me some house music. Um, so, wanted to kind of show you what I'm working with now. Um, I did a couple things to kind of make things a little bit more easier for me. Um, I talked in a, a video prior about uh, the wireless DMXing uh, from Surf's E. And big ups to DJ Bust to B. Thank you so much for turning me on to that. Um, the software is actually going to be coming um, probably a little bit after Christmas. We're, we're hitting the holidays right now. I'm going to actually get dab into um, the software stuff so I can take my time and learn it and stuff like that. And uh, figure it all out and then um, go a little bit bigger. Because at that point when I'm trans transversing, transitioning into the software, I'm going to be um, transitioning also into some other lighting as well too. Uh, so... Without further ado, I just wanted to share my wireless uh, setup with you from the Cersei. Um, I did a couple of things to kind of tweak um, the cables, a um, little bit less cabling, and then also the wireless that I just mentioned, um, and then also the facade, my, my new facade. Um, you may have seen the update, the video on my updated facade. I just wanted to give my customers um, for Atlanta Music DJ something a little bit better show to work with and then also make it um, my, my uh, managing my time a little bit better as well too by working with some less cabling and so on and so forth. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you here what, we, what we're working with. So we're going to be doing, let's, this is an example here, I got like another set of eight lights but let's, we have four lights on this side pretending we're going to be using, we're going to be lighting up this wall. We have four lights on this side pretending we're going to be lighting up this wall. And then we have our bar uh, just above there um, that's going to be lighting up our facade. Uh, that way we can, you know, get the illusion of the uh, entire uh, room will be the uh, same color or whatnot. Uh, pay no attention to the trussing and the other lights and stuff like that. Uh, we're not going to be working that with that one on the video right now. Right now what we're working with is the um, Cersei. This is the uh, DMX Wireless DMX Pro from Cersei. Um, this is the device that DJ Buster B has, and I think a couple other DJs too. But um, very, very cost effective and very efficient. I was really happy with this. Um, took in no time. Now what I did is I actually have one on this side. So for example, this is going to be pretending we're plugging into the wall here. Um, also, I have one on this side pretending we're plugging into the wall um, facing our left. If you're for B, if you're the DJ, and then we also have one that is going to be right down there. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's going to be right down there. There it is. If you can see it. Sorry about the bright lights. Alright, and then we have just our Shave Obey 3 just for testing purposes. Alright, and so that's our table and our bar. Little key bar is right in the back back there. Alright, so um, I timed myself. It's always a good idea to time yourself. I timed myself to see um, how this would work out for me. I actually took my time with it. Um, I was plugging some of the cables in backwards at about three of the lights and I said, oops, went back and replugged them in. So I wanted to do like a real life timing experience as, you know, a little accident here and there. And then I also had to um, switch the uh, wireless um, box, um, make sure the switches were on correctly. Um, so time myself with a good amount of comfortable time it, gave, it took me about 33 minutes to set up um, 33 minutes is really good it should only take you about that much and that's just for the uh, the up lighting that's just for the up lighting that we're not talking about the actual show lights or the dance lights or uh, moving heads and whatnot so uh, just for the up lighting alone was 33 minutes um, but then again granted it was only uh, you know eight um, plus a bar um, we may be working with more later down the road, so that's something you want to think about. But this is just a rough estimate, and that's kind of like what I would recommend to you guys if you're going to be setting up some lights and setting up quite a bit of them. Um, I already timed myself with speakers. My speakers run a little over 30 minutes as well, too. I think realistically about 40 minutes if I'm doing all of them, if I'm doing the sub, and I do a full surround sound of four speakers on each every corner. Um, let's estimate about 35 minutes. So we're looking at the tops a little bit over an hour to an hour and 10 minutes um, in full. And that's at a comfortable level, um, bringing in the sound and bringing in just the up lighting. Okay, so that was my timing. Um, I would recommend it to you guys to go ahead and time yourself too. It's a good idea to do that when you're getting to your gigs to kind of know what you have to work with. 
let me tell you why. There's um, been a couple times where, you know, the bride and groom and the also the, the planner or wh wh whatever it is, the venue that you're working with, the venue, they say that they'll be there and they're not there to open up. And you got less than one hour to set up everything. It's a pain. Now, it's a, it should be in your contract that you have the time that you requested to set up. If, you're, the pla if the place is not there or the people are not giving you that much time and so on and so forth, uh, you need to be compensated somehow for your troubles because they're asking a lot of you, uh, a lot out of you if you're going to be um, setting up, you know, it, uh, at least two hours worth of a setup in 45 minutes. Um, I, I don't know about you, but put that in the contract, talk about it. That should be one of the most important things. So anyways, let's get back to the topic. Um, timing myself, doing the wireless DMXing. Let's just show you a quick idea of what we're working with here. So, um, we'll do some, do some macros, um, some red, some purple, blue, yellow, and all the way out. Let's get it a little bit bright in here for right now. Let's do the white for right now. A little bit of white. Um, so, just wanted to show you. Um, I came in with these two cases. It's my soft bag, my Shave uh, soft bag, and then also an old school record case. He's keep my records in. Um, have everything that I need in these bags right here, in these two. So, two hands, two containers, boom, walk them in, boom, 33 minutes, I should be done. Um, and now, just have two things to go, ready to go. You have your entire uplighting set ready to go right here. And that's a standard ups, uh, uplighting set. Now, um, coming right over here to the cables, I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and use this one right over here. Actually, I'll do the one away from the uh, my music so it doesn't bother you too much. Um, I wanted to show you what I did. So, I put a little bit of Velcro stripping. I ran, ran it around twice so it's nice and tight and strong in there nice and snug together um, and what that is is if you look in the back here um, there's another velcro strip right here and let me turn the light so you can see it a little bit better um, so another velcro strip here and it's my DMX cable and my power cable and I have my DMX cable and my power cable linked together Okay. Now the power cables that come with the lights, they're slightly under five feet. I've measured every single one of them, and I have a lot of them, um, from the venue lighting to Chave um, and some American DJ, but mostly Chave. They consistently come in under five feet. These power cables consistently. Um, now, the DMX cables, you can get them under five feet, but the, the average standard is about five feet. And I would rest, es estimate your uplighting to be approximately five feet, maybe more, depending on your spacing and what you're working with and other objects on, on the wall in the room, um, average about five feet. This is a, a five foot DMX cable. And then this is slightly under. That's good because we can even, it leaves enough slack to have space to plug in over there. Now if they were exactly together, they'd be pulling and pulling and pulling to get plugged in on the other side of the light here. Um, and then which would be pulling on the other light next to it and it would actually be under under spaced. Um, it would be under five feet. So something to think about. So it gives a little slack. So it's not a bad thing that it's under five feet, these power cables. This one's exactly at five feet. You want a little slack on one of the cables, which is a good idea when you're uh, managing cables from light to light. Um, so we went ahead and Velcroed the ends here with a little bit of slack. We also Velcroed the center. Okay, nice and snug. And then we Velcroed the other light as well too. Um, at the other end, obviously giving a little bit of slack to our DMX cable. Made it so much more easier to actually set up. It's made it so much more easier, guys, I'm telling you. Um, I mean, cables are never fun, okay? But you do the best that you can uh, to make, you know, to make do with what you got. 
And until I can go uh, wireless, which I'll be doing next year, um, I'm going to work with what I got and I'm going to make the best with what I got. And that's making sure that my cable management is on par when it comes to my uplighting um, and other things. And so that's helped out a lot. All of those cables came in on one bag. Um, and then my other lights came in, in here. And this bag here. Um, my DMX um, Cerces, my wireless DMX um, splitters, they actually came in the bag with the cables. Okay, and then this bad boy as well too. One thing I left out was the bar that came in a different bag. So that left out the bar. So lo and behold, you know, basically what you got here is a nice setup. Should take you about 30 minutes or so, roughly half an hour. And that's basically um, something I wanted to share with you. Timing, a little bit better on the cable management. If you still are working with plug uh, cables that you're plug plugging in, and as you can see, there's not a lot of cables laying on the floor there. There's not a lot of cables laying on the floor. It's just one little squirrely line there, one little squirrely line over here. So we got five feet of cable total working with, and they're all strung together. Um, make sure you strung them together properly. You make sure you want to have the uh, power in cable with the DMX um, in cable. Okay. Um, no, no, excuse me. Yeah, the, yeah, the DMX in cable. Make sure you have the right, correct ends on together. Don't just go put them all together and then and thinking that it's going to work. Uh, make sure you you manage them properly. So, a couple things I wanted to show you. I hope you liked this video. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like it, and um, go ahead and comment. And um, I hope you guys are all doing very well out there. Please love, respect all people. No matter who they are, no matter where they come from. This is DJ Rocky with Atlanta Music DJ. Peace out.